Jason? Um, so first off, we slightly um, I've slightly turned down the um the ju- um the accelerometers, which also helped with um, uh, sorry, it helped with stability because when it got up to high throttles, it started shaking a bit, and we've also added a dead weight, which is just the extra battery. So we've strapped a second battery underneath just to give it a lower center of gravity. So uh, um, we, we thought that would be more stable, and sure enough, it, it is. So. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll get a more permanent sort of solution with a uh, with weights on each arm or something like that. I don't know. Well, more weight in the center is better. Oh, in the center, okay. Center, yeah. Uh, yep. Slung underneath it, where the camera mount would be. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the camera would be. <laughs> Wait. So, yep, let's. Well, we're going to have more weight in the center and and at the back. If we yep. put a camera on the on the front. We'll have to put a uh, the battery further back to keep the centre of balance right in the middle of okay. the arms. So it's obviously more stable straight away. Easier to keep onto a hover and so on. Gently. All right, fly up. Le- it'll fly up level before you take off. There we go. It'll self level. And then off she goes. You can see the extra weight underneath when you look closely. Oh, okay. It's all right. Yeah. There's a second battery strapped on. And she hit the gr- thick grass and stopped. Yeah, <laughs> I stopped it. I know. You were worried. But this is absolutely fabulous. We have a lot of stability and almost no extra work to do at this stage. It really is stable all by itself. And for phase one, I can't... I'm really excited that this has this sort of ability right now. It took us a little bit of work to get right, yep. but we can let you know exactly. Oh, that's lovely. Did. Right down. Yeah. Put it into its arm, as you can see. Put it into safe mode. Yep. Right now, it's gone safe. When the red light is on, it's armed. Yeah. And um, because um, make sure. We we um we had a lot of trouble um because we couldn't arm it because we had in um in the settings we adjusted it so that the yeah big mosquitoes <laughs> we adjusted it so the servo here didn't move very far when we moved this and the uh, and we adjusted it here to do it not on the unit there we adjusted it here and that meant that when we went to safe mode uh, or sorry arm mode when we moved this ready for arm mode unfortunately. It wasn't sending a signal strong enough to the receiver here and to the flight controller to register to arm it. So, um, and you, so um, we set it so this is flight mode, so that's only fifty percent of the movement, and this is arming mode, which is what we what you need to turn on. Yeah, so it's oh. just a matter of of setting that so that it uh, gave this the right amount of. Uh, um, sorry, uh, in pitch. Okay, no, one oh, more sorry. flight, please. Yeah. It's really exciting, this. Yep. Unbelievably um, exciting. Okay, arming. I mean, I know it should work. We wouldn't have built it if it wasn't going to work, but it's just so much fun to see this thing. You've got to take off a bit faster or the rear will come up. At the moment, there's a tendency to overcorrect. It's like any learner driving a car overcorrecting. You see, the most amazing thing about this is how quiet it is. I mean, it's not really annoying the neighbours or anything. And yeah. it, um, it is whisper quiet almost. Due to a um, number of things, it could be the motors. Yeah, the motors. It could be the propellers, because these are actually pretty high quality propellers. And yeah, well, we'll fix that with a bit of chunking on rocks and things. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. I think it'll still make the same noise. It's just it, nice it looks and flimsy, quiet. but it's a powerful machine. Mm. Each of these motors uh, dragging up to 30 amps each and uh, out of the 12-volt battery. And I'm sure that there's a lot of uh, losses along the way. But nonetheless, you know, you're trying to drag one horsepower out of this, uh, this battery and... Uh, it's a just a very powerful machine, so you've got to be careful of it. No, um, this is going to be some fun to play with in the future. Um, lots of different applications for this, like uh, photography, and um, we're going to be using it for 
Photography for photography, balloon launches, yeah, yeah. that's right. Mainly photography, And yeah. also oh, lots of fun. <laughs> lots of fun, yes. And you'll that's be the pilot. I'll yeah, try and um, leave you to do that. Yeah. That's all right, go on. It should be stable enough. Right. Build it. Do a baby. Yeah. Coming to get me. Oh. Not the pole! <laughs> Very good. I Not... gotta get the hang of turn. Sorry? I said I gotta get the hang of turn. Well, you got it one turn out of it. I like the way that it was headed towards the, the uh, aeroplane eating pole. Trying to do tricks now, are we, Jason? So yeah. Of course, I... the batteries. You don't travel with the batteries. If you want to take the batteries, um, you know, in your car, that's fine. But you can't take them by aeroplane on on passenger flights. Uh, one thing that you may be able to do is order some batteries to be at your destination. So uh, we're going to Croatia to fly balloons. So what we might do is order a couple of batteries to be in Croatia ready for us when we're there. Okay, thank you very much, Jason. Yep.